Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel now. I posted yesterday a video about my Etihad crew accommodation and uh, I got so many questions related to so many topics including questions related to totally different stuff um, because I'm an Etihad crew and people want to know a lot of things about it. So I got this question now and I will read it from you. It concerns the, the training period and, and the probation especially. Um, and it's from Georgios Bakas. It's a one of my subscribers on YouTube and it sounds like this. Hi Alex, I really enjoy your videos. I'm currently proceeding to the final stage of Etihad recruitment process. I'm pretty confident I'll get as soon as the virus is over. My question is, are you only flying short haul flights during probation and uh, the first year in the company and start getting long haul flights later on? Or is your roster scheduled randomly with both short and long flights from the beginning? Very good question. And I received this question many times on my channel in different kind of forms, um, different kind of questions asking the same thing. So after we finish your training with Etihad or another Middle Eastern company, let's, let's say the other two Middle Eastern big companies, because they're quite similar in this regard. after you finish the training is to do your suppy flights. Suppy flights means basically you're supplementing the cabin crew complement. Um, you're extra on that flight and you're there to learn. You are there to practice what you're doing exactly on each flight. So it's a learning process, it's a learning curve. After those suppies, which are usually turnaround, mostly they can be turnarounds, they're short flights, right? After those, I will give you my case. In my case, after I did the suppies, I had a first flight was Seoul layover, South Korea. It was amazing. Back then it was on the uh, Airbus A340. Oh, I love the 340. I, I really loved it. So it started for me with the layover. And guess what? That whole month, my whole first month was filled with nice layovers. I remember I flown to Sydney in my first month. I flown to Jakarta in my first month. Uh, I did some other European uh, flight. I cannot remember exactly. Hey, it was four years ago. I mean, seriously, but I still remember that month. It was a very filled month with, uh, with lots of nice layovers and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was wonderful. It was a very good month. It was a good experience uh, because I was new. All the crew were super positive towards me. All the crew were super supportive. If I didn't know something or if I was asking about things, they were always helping me. So that's what you can expect in your first month of flying, let's say. And also I heard that the company sometimes, because it's your first month, they will reward you with nice flights. So yeah, that's, that's what you can expect in the first month of flying. That's part of the probation. You will not get only turnarounds, you'll get a random flights as everybody else. Um, the only difference is those six months of probation uh, don't do any bullshit, right? I mean, do your job properly and learn as much as you can. Uh, and also one difference between probation and after probation is the salary will increase after the probation because your basic salary is of around 1000 dirhams less uh, than the normal one during probation. It's not much, you know, it can make a difference, I guess. So it'll be just a salary, a small salary increase after you finish the probation time. So in conclusion, regarding your question, yes, indeed, there are random flights. You will not get only turnarounds. You will get a mixed fleet with mixed crew and you will definitely enjoy. <laughs> I hope I answered your question properly. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, I, I cannot make a video about everything. Like I cannot make a video about every questions that you got guys asking me, but I can make a selection every once in a while. And I believe I will make a Q and A um, soon. So yeah, I will answer more questions there. Um, until that time, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not subscribed yet, like my video and see you on the next one.